Hi there, welcome to lifetotangle.com. My name is Brad and I am going to demonstrate one of the best uh, and handiest little uh, anti-spyware tools out there. Uh, it's called Super Anti-Spyware. Um, I'm demonstrating the free version um, today, but you can easily purchase the full version, which I recommend. It has uh, real-time monitoring that catches the bugs and the nasty stuff, like when it comes in and it kills it right away. This is a, the free version works great. It's a passive tool, so it just scans when you tell it to scan, and it just scans the file system and also scans in memory. Uh, not as good for proactive maintenance. Uh, I'm going to go to um, one of my favorite places to download free software, which is filehippo.com. And uh, wait for that to load up. And here we go. File Hippo is great. Um, they have a lot of the best free applications out there and they keep them up to date. And the best part about it is it only takes a couple of clicks to find the stuff you're looking for. The way I find Super Anti Spyware is I go up to the search bar and I just type in Super. And you um, see a couple other applications come up. And here's Super Anti Spyware, the free version. So I'm going to click on that. Click on Download Latest Version. Wait a second while the page loads download file and you can save this file to your desktop which is what I'll do or you could just hit run if you're lazy like I usually am so I'm just gonna hit save I'm gonna go to desktop and save it there pretty small application only 5.6 megabytes now you might I wonder to yourself why do I need super anti spy where I've got Norton I have or I have McAfee and I and I don't need something like that well super anti spyware in the last few months, last couple of years, uh, it has really come out and it's one of those ones that really gets rid of some of the tough to remove things. So if you've already got an infection, Norton doesn't really do a great job of removing those things. McAfee um, sometimes m misses them and um, you, you name it. There's other antivirus products out there that miss that miss stuff. Super Antispiro is a real lifesaver if you've gotten infected and you're trying to salvage your um, XP installation without having to reinstall everything. Um, it's a good program. Okay, we're installing. We'll just go through the steps here. Next, accept the terms. Nobody reads those things. Next through that, next through that, next through that. Okay, and now we're installing the software. Um, just wait for a second. Now, I don't have any other antivirus installed on this machine um, at the moment, but this will just give you an idea of what it does. Now, this is also a program that can clean out cookies. Um, it can clean out tracking cookies, which if you're real uh, concerned about privacy and that kind of thing, it'll it'll clean it out. But mainly, what this does is um, the spyware that you get, where it comes up the corner, like um, like Win Anti Spyware or Anti Antivirus 2009 or Antivirus XP. Those those rogue anti spyware or antivirus programs is what they call them. That get infected and bug you and bug you until you purchase the program, only to find out that that doesn't actually do anything. Which, which sucks. Alright, downloading. Now it's downloading the updates, so that's kind of nice. Make sure you're online. Obviously, you're online, but um, it'll download the updates to the current versions so that you can uh, scan for the most recent kinds of crap out there. One of the things you'll notice if you follow me down to the corner down here is a little. Um, bug beetle looking little icon. Super Antispyware installs that. Now it looks a little ominous, kind of looks like a virus itself, but don't worry about that. It's part of the program. Um, you can actually disable it in the preferences if you'd like. I don't need to give them my email address. You can if you want to. I want it to check for program definitions automatically. I do not want to send a report to the Research Center for now, but it's okay to do that if you want to. And protect home page. This is nice if you're having a virus that um, is redirecting your browser window, like Internet Explorer's home page, to a different page, you know, with an ad or a pop up or something like that. Um, when you click protect home page, this installs a little um, application that'll help prevent the registry from getting changed. So we're going to hit that. Keep it on Google, my favorite. All right, I'm going to go to preferences first, and I'm going to say uncheck these first. Three, so it doesn't start. The program doesn't start up when my computer starts, and it doesn't show the splash screen or put that little icon in there. It'll go away the next time we re reboot the computer. 
Nextly, it's already checked for updates, so I don't have to do that again, but here's how you check in the future. Um, you just click check for updates right there. Now, I'm going to do click on scan computer, and I want to do a full scan um, because I want to make sure there is nothing lurking um, in my temp files or anything like that. So, no need to scan any other external drives, network drives, you don't need to scan. Mainly just make sure the C drive is scanned or whatever drive your Windows location is on, but 99% of the time that's going to be your C drive. Perform complete scan, we'll just click next, and then the scanning starts. Now I'm going to wait for it to, to get done and I will, I will check back with you here in a minute when the scan is complete. Okay, um, the fire scan is complete. Now what it's going to automatically check is some of these tracking cookies. Uh, which are from a, a few different websites, Smiley Central, PayPal, DoubleClick. Those are fine to go ahead and delete. Uh, they're also not a big problem if you leave them on there. Uh, they simply just track how many times, you know, when you visit the site. It's anonymous data, um, from at least from what I know. Uh, but I usually remove them anyway. Now this one, I don't know. There may be an uninstaller for this program. I don't know where it is, or maybe the uninstaller got deleted. But this is, uh, if we want to look at it, um, we can see the product isn't necessarily harmful, um, but it may be intrusive or, uh, or what you might call a potentially unwanted program or a PUP, P-U-P, PUP. Um, I, I just check all of these. If you just want to scrub your system, I just check all the boxes and I click next. And that's going to show you how to quarantine and remove those items. Actually, it's not going to show you, it's just going to do it automatically. You can see what it's doing in the background. Now, it's saying you want to reboot your computer. Um, I would definitely say yes to this. Um, if you don't want to at the moment, um, you can hit no. And just it's telling you you need to reboot, but just hit OK and then hit Finish. Close the program, and then once you're done closing whatever applications you have running, you can also now go down here to the Start button, click Turn Off Computer, and then Restart. Now, there is one uh, caveat, which is that um, in some, in some cases, I've seen computers that won't reboot um, after you reboot the, the computer with the super nice spyware, but I'm going to do a follow-up video to show you what to do in case, in case that happens to you. Thanks. Bye.